So in the last video we have uh, seen how to do the formatting, daytime formatting in XAML. Now we are going to take a look at the same thing using C Sharp in the code behind. Okay, so here I have a text block. I named it so we could reference it from the code behind. Set the font size 30 and text wrapping to wrap in case it overflows. Okay, so let's go to code behind and um, create a simple method. I call this format DT for daytime. I need a variable to store date and time. And set it to date and time now. It's gonna pull the current system date and time from our computer. Next, I'm gonna reference my text block by name. Text block set it this text property to DT, which is a date time, and convert it to string. Okay, so this is this should pull the date and time from the system and set it to our text block. Let's run this. It didn't find out why. We have our method here. Sure. We need to call our method. Alright. Let's run this again. Perfect, it's working. Now, to do the formatting in uh, C Sharp, we'll come inside these are brackets, open, close, uh, quotation marks, double quotation marks. And inside the quotation marks, we'll type in the same format that we used in uh, XAML. For instance, we could go or short date, month, day, year, and they should format the date, current date and time to short date format. We could do the same thing with um, time, hour, hour, or just one hour. A minute, and for short one, we don't need the seconds, but we could go ahead and do the seconds too. I should display hour, minute, and seconds. Or we could just go with a full blown format. Go today is what Sunday. Good Sunday. February 5th, 16th, um, 2020, say time is hour, minutes, and seconds, and actually AM, PM as well. Let's try that out. Right, perfect. So it's just as simple as doing in XAML. The benefit of XAML, you can see it in real time. You don't have to run the application to see it. Um, so it can be a lot useful. In addition to these formats, there are preset formats or that call them patterns. Um, for instance, a D pattern stands for short date, I believe. Let's run this. Yes, it displays a short date with a month, day, a year. A uppercase D will give us the long date. Okay. A lowercase f is full date and time. OK. 
okay with time and uppercase it's also a full date and time with addition of place seconds and gives us the seconds as well okay and there are a couple of few others uh, there is the uh, we've seen the D's F's general date and time it gives us the short date along with short time uh, uppercase G gives us the uh, short date and long time with the seconds included a M uppercase M will give us name of the month and the day in numeric format um, and O is a round trip date and time with this format here year dash month dash day then a T I think that indicates time starts here and time is in military format I believe uh, with other math um, there is RFC there is a sortable date time pattern and um, let's try sort of see what the sortable looks like let's type S in there and uh, run it the sortable looks like um, it starts with year, month separate by dashes and uh, in between date and time and date and the time is in military format okay and there are a few others a T is for short time pattern uppercase T is for long time lowercase T is for short time uppercase T is for long time including seconds uh, let's try one of those out let's go with the uppercase T in case you don't want to display the date you just want to display the time that's the one I guess you pick okay perfect and um, then a universal sortable date which is format which is it will display the year month day then time in military format and with the addition of Z at the end at trailing Z uppercase Z at the end and then we have uppercase U it's universal full date time patterns straight ahead out and then there's a year month pattern which displays only uh, I guess in some instances you just want the month and year then they'll go with this all right so that's it for daytime formatting in C sharp in the next one we're going to take a look at culture info all right, see you there. Thank you. Have a good day.